हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर फिजिक्स क्लास सो अवर लास्ट टॉपिक इज फोर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी टेकिंग रिव्यू रिलेटेड टू बैलेंस फोर्स अनबैलेंस फोर्स सो वाट डू मीन बाय वाट हैपन वैन वी अप्लाई अनबैलेंस फोर्स ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट वी नो दैट इफ फोर्स इज अनबैलेंस दैन ऑब्जेक्ट will be shifted toward in a direction which force is lesser to comparison to another force so we can change the direction speed of an object an object at a rest can brought into a motion and with any object which is in motion increasing or decreasing the speed or change its direction or stop so this is the factor affecting of a motion or a rest when we apply unbalanced force so what are the effect of force on an object so mainly force can change direction of object it change shape size speed or state of rest or motion so students in our last lecture we have done balance unbalance force and basic information of inertia and newton's law so first of all what do you mean by inertia so student inertia is the ability or a tendency of any object which resist any change in its state of rest of a uniform motion so according to newton first law this is similar to inertia in a newton first law define that if any object in a rest or a motion they attain a same state whenever we not applied on unbalanced force on this object so newton first law state that object remain in same state which is uniform in motion in a straight line unless compelled to change the state by external unbalanced force so today we going to practice ncert exercise question number 2 on your page number 128 in our daily life we see that when a carpet is beaten with a stick the dust come out of it so what is the reason so simply it is depend and it is main principle is inertia the dust particle were at rest and carpet is beaten with a stick the dust come out it tries to remain at rest or our same state while carpet is in motion so that is a single reason why the dust come out actually dust not come out dust remain in our same state then carpet in a motion carpet change our state but still dust have a tendency to state or remain in our same state which is rest so question number 4 a batsman hits a cricket ball that is very interesting question we students like cricket more so a batsman hits a cricket ball which then roll on a level ground after covering a short distance a ball come to rest the ball slow to a stop because what is the reason 
ball why come rest the batsman did not hit ball the hard enough the velocity is proportional to force exerted on the ball and third one is there is a force on a ball opposing the motion and another is there is no unbalanced force on the ball so the ball would want to be compressed so student according to you what is the reason why the ball come into rest basically there is a opposing force in it when a ball roll on the surface of a ground there is a opposing force which is known as friction this friction which oppose the motion and which at a some distance the ball come to rest that is a single reason due to the friction ball come to in a rest students this is your practical question number 9 what is force what are the effect of force we also done in our previous class so student what do you mean by balance and unbalanced force this is concept time number 12 so in this slide show that two team pulling the equal force so there is equal and opposite so there is no motion and there is no change in position but so that is the balance force in a second case there is unequal force and position will be changed that is the unbalance force so next is newton first law we know that in this slide concept time number 13 i am going to introduce what do you mean by newton first law so that is a football in a rest whenever when we not kick this ball but when we going to kick this ball the ball in a motion so that's mean whenever we not applied any force on any object this position will be same so student i am going to introduce inertia and we going to explain what do you mean by inertia so student there are two buckets which is filled in a full of water and another is empty so in a daily life we see we are easier to carry empty bucket comparison to filled bucket and another case of a cotton which is empty another is full of things so carrying of full of thing cotton is difficult comparison to empty cotton so another example to stop a truck or stop a bicycle which is easiest so we know that bicycle going to stop is easy comparison to a truck so all three examples what do you mean by inertia actually inertia is a tendency of an object due to which is resist any change in state of the rest of the uniform motion so do you all body experience the same a same inertia no inertia of a body depend upon mass if the higher mass of a body the greater inertia the tendency of resist any change state is a rest or a uniform motion so if you have a lesser mass lesser inertia higher mass higher inertia so student if you have a, any problem related to this topic so today we have discuss force balance force unbalance force newton's first law inertia and some example of inertia so if you have a, any problem related to this topic you have to text me or call me anytime thank you happy learning